Hello, hello, hello. We are about to start the pre-show. Uh, if you were out there in chat, let me hear you say, hey Oh, uh, very good. Coming in loud and clear. Y'all are ready to go. If you're in the studio and you're ready for the pre-show, let me see your thumbs up. Are we ready for the pre-show in the studio? Studio folks, are we ready for the pre-show? We are ready for the pre-show. Great. Okay, in that case, I'm going to fade to black. Well, hello, everyone. Happy when Wednesday. Mm -hmm. Wednesday. Wednesday. Today, we're going to do some wrestling here on this website. But before that, we are going to check our audio and our video. I'm Alex Navarro. Got some folks sitting here at the table with me. If we want to check the other camera, there we go. There we go. There we go. Hi. Noted site editors Dan Reichert and Jack Gallagher. Welcome. Mm -hmm. Hello, hello. <laughs> uh, we got Abby in the control booth. Hello. Hello. How's everything looking and sounding? Good. This camera's maybe a little out of focus, but I'll yeah. adjust that in just a moment. In the meantime, uh, keep talking. Keep I'll keep talking. Okay. Keep talking. Yeah. Hey, Mr. Jack, can I please hear you speak some so I of can adjust your volume? Of course you may. I, I have a lovely little accent that people <laughs> find amusing. I'll happily just use it whenever possible. Uh, Great. How am I sounding? Am I good? Good. I think you are good. Do okay. I sound good to you guys? Am you I sound too loud? Am I fine? Okay. Clear. Why don't y'all chit-chat while I uh, adjust this camera for me? Please. Excellent. Okay. So when are you, how long are you in New York here? I'm leaving tomorrow. Oh, okay. So uh, originally, I know I spoke to you about we were planning a holiday here. Right, right. Um, my uh, my wife Rebecca, mm -hmm. um, me and Becky are now planning to do a little holiday in Vegas, potentially around the McGregor fight. Oh, wow. uh, if we can get tickets, right. So if we can get tickets, she's never been to Las Vegas, and I, I, I've enjoyed Vegas for the very... I, I understand I enjoy Vegas because I've been there for very brief periods of time. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'm sure the novelty wears off quite quick. 48 hours is the max you want to be there, I found. So we were thinking of uh, planning a holiday where it would be... I would fly from television, meet her in Las Vegas. We'll do a couple of days there, and then we'll do the McGregor fight, and then I'll fly to 205 from there. It's just like one big thing. Yeah. So, yeah. Yeah. Uh, I didn't get to do the full holiday in New York, but every time I come here, there's always messages of like, we should move here. This is really nice. It's yeah. uh, one of the better cities in this country, I think. I, I, I find as well, like a lot of Europeans like New York. Mm -hmm. I'm not sure why, like Cesaro really likes New York. Noam really likes, Noam Dahl really likes New York. Like uh, Finn Balor, I think if he doesn't live here anymore, used to live here. He's in Brooklyn, right? Yeah. Um, Zack Sabre Jr. lives in New York right. as well. Like for some reason, just Europeans just kind of gravitate towards this city. That and Boston. Oh, yeah. I, can, I can kind of East understand Coast. Boston a little bit. Yeah, it has a sort of colonial vibe to it, that old style city. Yeah. Whereas New York, I imagine it's sort of like just kind of the way everything is sort of condensed and stacked atop each other. Like there, I've definitely been to some European cities that have that vibe going on. Is that as well? Like the negative of Boston is like it's it's, it's murder to drive around. Oh God, is it? But it, it the two years I lived there were miserable. <laughs> <laughs> it reminds me. It reminds me very much of London, where people have clearly built something not planning to have cars. Right. So Boston is like, oh, you know, we'll just, this does this, and we'll, it's a jigsaw puzzle, and there's all the spaghetti junction and all this. Yeah, it's built for, like, you know, cattle and, like, goat paths more than anything else. Uh, yeah, so there's a little bit of, like, oh, yeah, this looks like a European city, poorly planned. Right. Yeah. <laughs> it's it's a bunch of, like, one ways or narrow streets, or, like, what is it about All Boston of the above. It really? is, like, there, there are also large sections of streets that just straight up don't have markings on them, so you right. don't know where the lanes are. <laughs> so that seems fixable. Yeah, but it, they won't. It does. It does. You'd think, you'd think they would fix these things. Nope. They it's been spent a city for a long time. Now. They spent they all their, their <laughs> a little while. Yeah. yeah, they spent all their lane painting money on the big dig, and they haven't been able to catch back up with that. Great, <laughs> right. sadly. Something done? Uh, probably. Okay. Who knows? I'm pretty yeah. sure it's been done for a while. Yeah, yeah. they're probably still doing yes. something to it, though. Yeah, probably. Uh, well, should we start this show? I'm ready. Are you ready? I'm mm -hmm. ready. Okay, here we go. Fade into black. 